Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about how to find RP on Discord. So I've told you guys how I RP on Discord, and that's kind of the platform that I use now. And I know that some of you out there are struggling to find role plays and role play partners. So I'm going to let you guys know how I find role play on Discord and hopefully help out with that. This is going to be a really short one, but really useful for those of you that are struggling to find partners or struggling to find RPs to join. So step one, of course, is creating a Discord account. So you're going to go to discord.com and you can either download the Windows client there or you can open it up in a browser. Either way works. There's no kind of right way. Both are totally fine. And it'll walk you through how to set up an account on Discord. It's really easy, takes really about a couple of minutes. The thing to note when you've got Discord open and you've got your account created, if you look down in the bottom left of the Discord, you're going to see your nickname that you chose, but you're also going to see like a little hashtag and four numbers there. That's really important when you're giving your Discord out to people. If you just give them your nickname, then they're not going to be able to find you on Discord. We also have to include that little hashtag and the four numbers. Because there's not a duplicate name thing on Discord, what ends up happening is if you give people just your nickname, Discord doesn't know which of that nickname that it is to match them up with. Next, we need to go find an advertising server. I like to use Discord.org for this, but there are other websites that list Discord servers. But essentially how all of them work is pretty much the same. You go to that website, they have a search, and you put advertising in the search. And these servers allow you to advertise things such as other Discord servers. So there's another way to go about this. On those websites that aggregate those different Discords, you could also type in roleplay to find roleplay servers. The thing with this is it doesn't necessarily tell you if those servers are active or not. That's why I like to go looking through advertising servers as opposed to looking for roleplay servers. Although you can just look for roleplay servers on those aggregate websites. There are even a couple of servers out there that are specifically for roleplay advertising, so it might be useful to take a look at those and join those as well. So once you've joined a couple of advertising servers, what you're going to find is they have organized different channels for the different things that they allow advertising on. And almost all of them that I've come across have a section for roleplay servers. And when you look at the roleplay servers that are listed there, you're going to see the DMs and people like that that are modding the roleplay servers advertising their roleplays there. And that's why I really like to look on those advertising servers, because then what you're going to find is people that are actively looking for players and they're active in their roleplay. A lot of times these advertisements will also give you a little bit of information about the RP, so you know a little bit about what you're getting into before you click join on that server. And you can be a little bit more choosy of which ones you kind of try out. So once you found a roleplay that looks good based on that advertisement, you just click on the little join link and it adds you to that roleplay server. Once you're there, you'll want to read all of the information about the roleplay that they've provided and make sure that it's a roleplay that you really want to join before you start whatever their application process is. Um, now on Discord, you're going to have the whole gamut of different application processes, just like you have on any sort of roleplay platform. And so based on kind of what you read and what that application process is, you'll want to make a decision on whether you're going to join that roleplay or not. It's totally okay when it comes to Discord roleplays that if you're not into it, to just leave the server. Happens all the time. I've seen it in every roleplay on Discord that I've ever joined. I've seen it on every roleplay on Discord that I've ever run. It's totally normal. So don't feel bad once you've joined the server. You don't have to stay if you have no plans of joining the roleplay. In fact, as a mod of some of those roleplays, I would say that if somebody has no plans to join the roleplay, then I'd really prefer they go ahead and leave the server because they're kind of sitting there looking like a dead account. If you do like what you see, though, of course, go ahead and do their application process and join the roleplay and start roleplaying. You also will run across people sometimes advertising for one-on-one -on -one roleplays. When it comes to one-on-one -on -one roleplays, there's two ways people will prefer to do this. They might have a server set up specifically for their one-on-one -on -one roleplays, or they might set up a server specifically for you and them to do the one-on-one -on -one role plays, or they might want to do it through DMs. It totally depends on what that particular person's preference is. When it comes to the one-on-one -on -one role plays, often what you'll want to do if you're considering offering role playing with somebody one-on-one -on -one is to DM them first. So if you're seeing advertisements for one-on-one -on -one role plays, you'll want to DM that person through Discord and talk to them a little bit 
before you kind of decide to jump into role playing with them. So this is the way I like to find Discord role plays. There are other ways to find them though. A lot of people that moderate Discord role play servers will advertise on social media as well. For example, I know there's a Facebook group specifically for Discord role play advertising. There's also a subreddit specifically for it. And then when it comes to social media that uses tags like Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, there are tags that are specifically Discord role playing. So if you're already on some of those social media platforms, it might be worth looking into those things to find some Discord role plays as well. So that's really all there is to it. Join servers that are advertising they're looking for players, read the stuff on those servers, and apply for their role play, just like you would for any other role play group. So remember to like if you liked this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all of the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo, Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.